and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about seven simple core exercises that prevent low back pain. I practice many of these myself, Brad. I don't do all of them, mm -hmm. but uh, I think you do a lot of them too, don't you? Oh yeah, right. And but the concepts, you know, there's a lot of different exercises. These are. Uh, are real good ones, and I think these are good ones for everyone to start out with. Uh, but the concepts that we're going to mention are really important to understand so that you do things properly. Sounds good. Let, we'll get to it in just a minute. But if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels. Also, go to our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away every week. There you go. And right, on out, right now, um, if you go to the giveaway section on Bob and Brad, or if you go to Facebook, Bob and Brad, it's pinned to the top of the page. We're giving away the wall anchor. Here, let me point to what All we right. have. Well, right here we We're kind of lazy. We've got wall anchors here. This one's uh, set up with, we got multiple bands here, three here, one here. It's really a versatile tool. And uh, here's what it looks like right there. And you got two heavy duty industrial screws that must go into the wooden stud. That's the definite must. Uh, we have complete instructions on how to do it. And they are just wonderful. Very versatile and very strong. And you get four of them if you go to our website. Normally, if you go to Amazon, you just get three of them. This way, you get four of them. You can put them at different heights, and it works really cool. All right, Brad, take it away. Okay, so we're talking about the three concepts. I kind of got people interested in that. I'm sure everyone's just salivating to find out what they are. <laughs> the first one is maintain range of motion throughout your spine. In other words, the spine has joints between each vertebrae, two joints, facet joints, all the way up and down your spine. We have Let to keep those here. moving. And if they're, uh, they maintain motion, it's going to maintain health of the spine. Uh, so we want to have normal range of motion. That means you can bend over, touch there. You can bend backwards. We don't want you doing that. You can rotate. Yeah, we, want, we don't want you bending over like that without, like, as an exercise. Right. But We're going to show you a different way of doing it. Right. But, you know, the whole idea is we need motion. Yeah. You, and uh, the next one is a neutral spine. Now, this is something we're going to get into and we'll show you, but there's a certain position that particularly your lumbar spine needs to be in to maintain the discs and the facets in a good, strong, healthy position. And the third thing is uh, core strengthening. A lot of people have an idea that core strengthening means stomach or abdominals, which is true, but your core muscles around your whole trunk area. So the core abdominal muscles, the extensor muscles in the back, you got obliques, and we need want to work on Latissimus all of those. dorsi goes into that. There the, you go. The buttock right. goes up in the, the, the gluteus yep. maximus goes you up bet. into that area. So. so let's go through the first one. This is one. Now, these first three are to maintain range of motion. Now, you can do this one in your bed. Uh, working on the floor, carpeted floor, probably works best for all these, but you can do them on your bed. You know, if you have a hard time with the knees or you have an injury or you're elderly and you're not safe getting down to the floor, do them on your bed. That's fine. Um, here we go. This one, hook line rotation, I call it. You bring your feet together, your knees together gently. You can have a pillow under your head to be more comfortable. And you're just going to rotate. Oh, thank you, Bob. Now I know he cares. <laughs> there we go. And we're just going to rotate back and forth. Notice my shoulders stay glued to the ta to the floor, and my hips come off. One hip comes up here, and that's where you get the rotation element of yeah, the range of rotation motion. Rotation of the spine. Oh. This is a great one that almost everybody can do. This this is one that we have the elderly do. We I have people that are in severe back pain. If it hurts going in one direction, don't do that direction for to start off with. We'll just work it the other way. So if it hurts going to the left like this, Brad, don't do that. Just go to the right for a while. There you go. And uh, you can even do a little bit of stretch on the end, can't you? Yep, you can get over and really stretch if you want to get a Bring your leg over. stretch over yep. there. Yep, there you go. So kind of yeah. like a, a little dancing kick there, isn't it? Yeah. A little dancing. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we next one, on, Brad. Bob. All right. The next one is double knees to chest. You know, particularly if you've got stenosis, this is a, a good exercise for that. You know, bring your knees up to here. You can grab here and stretch with your If hand. it really bothers you to bring both up at the same, you, you could bring one up at yep. first and then bring the other one up um, to follow. 
there. So you could go up, hold that one there, and then bring the other one up like that. It, it, you know, I'm just saying that some people are really right. tender. I have a patient so. right now. She has a hard time bringing them up like this. Sure. Uh, she, she's used, uh, she is actually going to use a belt that goes around yep, under here. Yep, a and strap. She uses that to help assist. Yep, that's um, a great way to do it. You bet. And uh, then the last one. You want to show the line, last one? Yep. So with extension, you can flip over in your bed, or you can do this on the floor. A lot of times it works better on the floor because it's a little more of a solid surface. Right. Um, this is absolutely the one I do every morning, and I also do it one in the afternoon, yep. a set. So uh, you put your hands below your shoulders, and you're going to work on starting to extend the back. Now, this is kind of a passive motion in that I'm doing the work with my arms, and the back's just kind of coming along for a, a ride. But I'm working as far as pain will allow me, right. so, or as my body will allow me. Because initially, when you start this, you may be pretty tight because you probably haven't been doing this. And this isn't a motion that you normally find out in the, throughout the day at all. So I'm going to go ahead and work on extension. And eventually, what I hope to do is get all the way up here. The key here is that you're not lifting the pelvis up like this. The pelvis stays down on the mat, or on the floor, on the bed. And the, the rest comes up like this, and eventually you can work on getting more and more extension. Again, all these should be pain-free. That particular exercise, you notice I did not do it because I have a condition called spondylolisthesis. Or if you got stenosis, or if it's painful, you do not do that. I never do that one. It's not good for my back. Um, it most is good. people It's is. good for probably 80% of the population. Right. Yep. But, yeah, we have our special people here, don't we? I I'm special. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Okay, now the next one we're going to talk about. Uh, Keeping the spine in neutral. All right, and this is this really works bad on a firm surface. It's much harder on a, a soft bed. Yeah, I don't know that you could do it on a bed very yeah. easily. So if you're on the carpet or a firmer surface, you take your hand and you put it right above your belt, and you should be able to get your fingers there, and then you can – Arch your back up and then push it down and then go halfway in between there just so you can slip your fingers under there a little bit. Tighten up your stomach muscles and your core muscles and maintain that. That's neutral position. And then see if you can maintain that. I'm going to put my fingers there so I can feel if my back is moving or not. Now, some people just bringing a knee up to here, their back will arch more because uh, they have weak core muscles. But once you get good at this, you'll be able to Keep your back in that neutral position. You can do single knees to chest. So, Brad, you're trying to keep your back pressed up against your hand, correct? Right, right. And we it, don't want it to arch up right. higher. If, he, if he's not able to keep it, um, it's probably too intense to start off with yep. then. Yep. And you may have to do a, a lower level activity. Right, but usually a, a usually single knee to chest. Usually you can start with single knee to chest. Yeah, right. that's, that's, this is the starting point. This is the one that almost anybody can do. Right. So and if you do that, like I'm going to go into bicycles next, which is a good core exercise. Yeah, that's this one's a that's this one. You've got to have some core ex yeah. uh, core strength in order to be able to perform. Because if you did this in my, if you can look at my pelvis here, if I arched way up like this, oh, that's yeah. not neutral. We want to get that stomach back down where it belongs. Uh, you can also do double knees to chest and maintain that neutral position. Um, like yeah, that. But it's, um, again, that's a more advanced. Right, it so. is. Yep. You've got to, you know, if you've been doing sit ups for a long time, you may be able to do that, but you work into it. Um, okay. Next one I'm doing, Brad. There you go. So you want to throw me that pillow up there? Oh, sure. There you go. I'm going to get off the floor, I think. And this is appropriate that I'm doing this, this one, because it's called the Superman. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so put the pillow underneath you, lengthwise like this. I can go ahead and use a towel here. And basically, what I'm going to do is I can do double arms or si I can start off with single arm even. Yep. And you can do single arm and single leg, right, Brad? Yep. And then we're working these posterior or the rectus spinal muscle groups. And if you do the alternate like that, it really does a good job of covering, you know, uh, hip muscles, as we mentioned, the gluteus maximus is part of this, the, the lower back muscles, all the way up into the upper traps and the shoulder muscles. It's and I can complete. do the true Superman like this. Yep. Bring your, point your thumbs up, Bob. Some oh, people sure. will yep. find that that's easier on the shoulder joint. Sure. And um, I really don't like both like this, Brad. I think that's too much, mm -hmm. to be honest. With you. I, I, I definitely I like the alternative ones. Sure. Where you alternate the arms and the legs like this. So um, you hold for what, what do you say, Brad? Ten seconds? That'd be so? a good hold, yeah. If you can't mm -hmm. hold that long, do as long as you can and, and build up to it. You know, ten repetitions is a good 
10 to 15 on all of these exercises is a good I'm, I think I should have mentioned that earlier, but. Yeah, well, we mentioned it now. Yeah, quadruped. Ah, uh, quadruped. That's mm -hmm. the final one we're going to show here. Yep. So this is kind of an advanced version of what I just did. Right. So now, again, I'm going to keep the spine in neutral. I don't want to be arched too much like this, and I don't want to be too flat like this. I'm kind of right in the middle. There you go. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go opposite arm and opposite leg. You can start off with just one arm if you want to, and you can start off with just one leg yep. if you want to. And then eventually work up to it. This is a, takes a little bit of, you know, I make it look easy because I'm talented, but it's actually quite difficult to do. Right, Bob. <laughs> no, he, he, he brings up a good point. But you're really working core muscles on this more than you think to maintain that neutral spine. So, yeah, and 10 of these is good. And do them slow like this. Don't whip through them fast. Take your time. Uh, be a... Uh, Precise. There's the bird, Brad. Yeah, it's I call this the pointer dog. Yeah, it's the pointer dog. Yep. All right. All right, how am I looking? I think, well, we don't want to talk yeah. about that. All right. <laughs> Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. anything. Except for? Broken heart. There you go, Bob. But we're working on it. Yeah, we got time slotted for it. I got it on my calendar. Good. So, all right. Uh, what year? <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>